Hi, my name is Tony. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take you for a walk with this DJI Action 4 camera in this beautiful region of Bohemian Forest. We are here for the weekend with my photography school and students and just behind me there is a beautiful studio of my friend where they are just shooting some nudes. And the teacher of the workshop is Galina Gordiva who combines nude photography with light painting techniques. I want to talk about different topic today and as you know I love my Osmo Pocket 3 and just now I'm recording this vlog on my Action 4 so you might ask a question why I'm not using my Osmo Pocket and the answer is in the air look at the clouds it's still raining and as you know if your Osmo Pocket gets wet it may be damaged. Action 4 hasn't got a gimbal and I don't see any noticeable difference in the smoothness of the footage. Well, it looks pretty fine. Let's run for a while and let me know in the comments how you like the stabilization. So let's go for it. So what do you think? Is it good? If you vlog with Osmo Pocket 3, you should definitely have active track on. Because otherwise, you just can't end up with ruined footage. Just to explain, active track is the most reliable system of Osmo Pocket 3. Uh, continuous and single, they appear to have some issues. And then when you use tracking, you get that jittery motions of the camera that is so much eager to follow you. It reacts too fast to every little change of the subject. And then you get those distracting motion. And a lot of people complain about that. And I understand why, because it doesn't look good. But as tracking is the most reliable system, and you want to be sure that your footage is okay, then you will rather go for trekking. Can you hear the birds and nature talking? Wonderful. What I'm suggesting here, you don't have to use trekking with this camera because it's got infinity focus. That means that everything is in focus and thus you can't have that annoying refocusing issue. And you don't get that aggressive camera motion. You just get that fluent, flowing, smooth footage. And you can be sure that you are in focus because everything is. With Osmo Pocket 3, I totally love those shots where you can get that shallow depth of field. And when you vlog with Osmo Pocket 3 like this, you can't speak about cello depth of field. Uh, yes, the background is blurry a bit, but not so much. You can hardly notice. Can you see that black cloud behind me? I think we're gonna get wet. We will have to get back to studio coffee. Mm. The video quality that you get from this camera is excellent. It's not as good as the quality that you can get from Osmo Pocket 3, but it's very well comparable. The difference is little. I wouldn't use this in low light. You can't push ISO too high. You can shoot in D-Log and play with grading as well as with Osmo Pocket. So you get quite the same quality. Overall, it's very comfortable and easy to vlog with this camera. 
and beyond blogging there is more that Action4 can offer to you because it's durable. You can go really crazy with Action4 and you can get shots where you would probably break Osmo Pocket. To make conclusion, it's a really nice camera for vlogging and action. It's got great image quality, fantastic stabilization, even without gimbal. I would say Action4 is perfect vlogging camera for action vloggers who challenge their limits. Because you can record with this underwater, in the snow, anywhere. And the only weakness of this camera is low light. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if it was, give it a like and follow my channel, which will make my day. So bye for now and see you next time.